EC2 placement group. Let's try to understand what is placement group and how it useful to us. So we'll discuss the details about the placement group and we'll also see the demos in the console where how to uh, use this placement group to deploy EC2 instance. So let's start from the definition side. So placement group are logical grouping or a cluster of instance in a selected AWS region. So it's making the grouping for your cluster where you want to deploy your instance in specific selected AWS region. Placement group are the specifically used for a launching cluster compute instance type. Basically, it's used uh, for the launching EC2 instance only. Placement group used to define EC2 instance placement strategy. So how you want to uh, deploy a EC2 instance that define the placement group. So when you launch a new EC2 instance, the EC2 service attempt to place the instance in such a way that all of your instances are spread out across the underlying hardware. So basically minimize the failure that's purpose of uh, EC2 uh, AWS service doing the uh, deployment of EC2 instance in uh, different underlying hardware. So you can use this placement group to influence that placement group of independent instance to meet basically you have the some uh, kind of uh, requirement where you require the high bandwidth so you can use the case which use case which you need uh, kind of the different use case where you want to deploy your ec2 instance in the same uh, hardware or the same partition so you can use this placement group to independent instance to meet the need of your workload basically and there are the three type of placement group strategy are providing the AWS it's a cluster spread and partition so cluster packs the instance close together in inside an AWS Elevated zone basically cluster instance used for the low latency group and it will club the in single Elevated zone so that's a key use case for the cluster so basically uh, cluster gives a low latency because you have the single availability on all your um, instance so you will get the high bandwidth over there spread is the second type of uh, uh, strategy to deploy your uh, placement so it's basically spread instance in a small group of across the underlying hardware so uh, it's not relying on the ability zone but yeah it be uh, underlying with the hardware so that's a key thing statistically place a small group of instance across the all distinct underlying hardware to reduce the failure of your hardware so the last one is the partition partition spread instance across the many different partition so it's cre AWS creates a different partition and your instance will be placed on the base on your placement group will be follow the one partition basically switch basically rely one set of rack so your one rack would have the one partition within a ability zone so partition spread your instance across the logical partition such as the group of instance in one partition do not share the underlying hardware with the group of instance in another partition so that's a key point for the partition okay so let's uh, try to understand uh, with the use case of the diagram so this is first thing that's a cluster cluster having the same break availability zone you can see and basically it's uh, the benefits of the cluster is uh, it's giving the load latency because the same break within availability zone having the a good network that's a 10 gbps uh, so you get the high bandwidth cause that uh, so basically the once this hardware will fail so all instance will fail because it's in the single rack so what case of uh, use case cluster use so application need the high bandwidth kind of big data application application which need the low latency and high response rate this is the best use case for the cluster placement group let's go for the next so spread is having the uh, kind of the albert zone having the hardware one and two so this makes the one placement group the single availability zone in availability zone 2 it will create another uh, set of the placement where the hardware 
two hardware or three hardware it will take it will deploy in the same placement group so it will spreading your instance in different hardware in different already run so the key point is it's deploying your instance in different hardware so there is a low risk of the failure of your instance where the it's deploying the different hardware so once hard, one hardware will be failed then it must not be able to uh, fail the other hardware as in cluster uh, strategy so cause is that you can deploy only seven instance per availability zone so if you need the more uh, then you cannot use this spread placement group use case you can see the uh, application need the higher high availability because application need always be available kind of things uh, you cannot you can use this uh, placement group but you cannot use the cluster because cluster having the same hardware so in case of the fail of the in cluster it will fail the all hardware but here in spread you can uh, you can uh, get all your backup once the any hardware will get but you have your uh, your ec2 instance is spread across the different already uh, with the different hardware so critical application where each instance must be isolated from the failure from each other where it is also required because uh, some of applications are the really critical to the customer which which require to deploy uh, application in the different region with the different hardware let's move for the next one where we'll see the uh, partition so partition is uh, as we discussed it will create the part logical grouping and it will create the partition in a single ability zone uh, you can see here it partition creates a partition having the different set of uh, uh, racks and the, each partition uh, rack do not share the uh, hardware with the another group of uh, partition in the different partition so that's the key point uh, seven partition per already zone you can deploy 100 in ec2 instance uh, in a single already zone use case you can reach application require the hdf hdfs that's a high definition uh, file system as base and Cassandra application so that is required uh, for the sum of application required uh, uh, having the defi uh, application required the high definition file system use use case as uh, base and the Cassandra so this is the specifically used for the specific application and let's move for the demo to the console to understand the uh, how we can create the placement group and how we can deploy placement group so this is my ec2 console uh, you can feel the something different here because amazon launched a new ui uh, ec2 instance so let's move here the left side the, in the menu bar there so you can find the placement group so this is the placement group i'm clicking here so here you can create the placement group here let's give the name uh, with the strategy so you can see this is the cluster You can choose your strategy here from cluster to cluster just create the group so it will create the group here the cluster you can create more this is spread and partition so i'm creating the partition group also so in partition you want how many partition is required so here the default number you can see here it will start from one to seven so you can create the multiple partition as we see there's a maximum is a seven partition so i'm creating the one partition so we created the three placement group let's go to the ec2 instance launching so i'm going to the uh, ec2 dashboard here from ECD dashboard you can see there is a no instance is running uh, so let's move to the instance to create the new so I'm launching the instance over here just clicking here so select moving next for the configuration part so in configuration part you can see here the instance placement group is by default is disabled but you can click here to enable so here once you enable you will find the different options so you can see the displacement group and if you want to add here you can add also from here but you can use from the existing which we have created 
so you can see here it will give the name for the name which we have created so this is a partition and a speed so let's click here the partition here and so in case you choose the partition it will give the options for the distribution auto or which partition so you can choose from here in which partition you want to deploy your instance let's change the partition to the spread so in spread there is no configuration but you can launch up to seven instances in this placement group uh, spread strategy placement group strategy will be having the seven running instance per average one so you don't have to choose anything here but it will choose the it will give allow you the seven instance per placement group once you choose the spread uh, placement group so we can we can see these two options over here that one is the uh, spread and one is the uh, this having the okay one is the spread and one is the partition we are not able to see the cluster just because of we chosen the t2 micro for the instance side but if you want to cluster cluster will be the more costly comparatively these two so once you choose your the different uh, instance type i have you given here option is you can see it's a m5 large so it's a some it's not giving support the t2 micro that's a basic instance but it's giving the support the high-end machine so you can see here once you choose the uh, instance type at the c5 large or compatible you will find the cluster placement group so once you choose the cluster it will deploy your cluster based on your hardware so you can see now there is how we create the uh, placement group from the placement uh, group console or you can create from here also you can choose the spread uh, partition and the cluster placement group where partition having the options of the uh, where you want to deploy so you can choose your partition in spread you, you can deploy multiple uh, more not more than seven that's a key point you need to uh, recall so this all about the placement group how you want to deploy placement group for your best use case